The time for build up is over. It's now time for action. The SA20 is all set for a cracking opening with Joburg Super Kings taking on Sunrise's Eastern Cape at St. George's Park. Plenty of familiar faces, a few fresh ones. Here we are, set to begin another interesting journey. It's always nice to come back. It's like a family coming back together. You know each other well, you know what they can do. You know, if I work with a bowler, I can see he goes, some of the stuff that he's, he's worked on, hasn't worked on, rather than having to get to know them for the first time. So it's, it's a unit come back together, some new chaps have joined, but the nature of cricket around the world today is we play with each other a lot. But it is good to get back together, rather than, as you say, the first time we got together last, the last time was the first time as a group, but there's continuity now, which is always good with a Super King brand. The first week in Johannesburg saw the Super Kings busy in training which included a couple of friendly games against Namibia. Preparation has been good. Obviously had some good times in Johannesburg. You never know in a way trip what it's going to be like. Had a look at the wicket, but uh, we, one never quite knows how it's going to play. You know, the tournament tends to take its, its form over time. It's the first match, so we, we need to be as prepared as we can do, but to be able to adapt on the day depending on what we find in the wicket. In between the two seasons, young stars of Joburg Super Kings have made rapid strides in the international arena. Cheryl Kutsir, Nandri Berger and Donovan Pereira earned their South Africa caps while the likes of Riza Hendricks and Lazard Williams continued to shine. It is always rewarding to see our, our boys go forward. You know, they, once they become a super king, they stay a super king even when they leave us. So to see them do well in, in, other, in other spheres of their, of their lives as cricketers is a, is a wonderful thing for them and a testament, I think, to the, to the, the environment that we have, that, that cricketers grow and I think that's important. We, we always say that if someone comes and joins us, there must be some growth and, and it's good to see that. And to complement the young bunch, the Super Kings also got in some experience with the likes of Imran Tyre, Moin Ali and David Visa, among others. It's always important to have those, those chaps in the, in the team, you know, to, to feed off them. And again, I think it's one of the, the Super, Super Kings uh, mantras is to have experience. Guys that have done it before, have given the situations and know what to do and pass that on. Being calm under pressure in the, in the T20 format is a very important thing. I think people always thought it was a very much a young man's game, but it's not necessarily like that. I think the older guys have got skills and understanding of the game, which is probably more important. So having them around, always fantastic for us as coaches to grow and learn, to, to absorb things for the same for the players. So a very, very important brand, part of, an, of, a, of a team is to have those experienced players to, to be able to feed off both in terms of calmness and in terms of thinking on the field. So, what do we have in store on Wednesday when we take on the defending champions on their own turf? Every side in this competition has got some quality. Every side has got something you can try and exploit. We're all, we're all the same. So it's about who, who, let's call it, throws the first punch and who gets, in, when it gets under pressure and get themselves out of it. But, but as I say, the tournament hasn't taken a form yet. So we don't quite know what's the score in this wicket. We don't quite know what's going to happen in terms of conditions. But both sides, I think, very well matched. Real match winners throughout the lineup with bat and ball. So, you know, I think it's gonna be the one that's that brings the A game on the day that's gonna that's gonna be the victor. But a lovely place to play cricket. This was one of the grounds that was always full last time. And I think we'll see the same thing tomorrow. Good crowd, good music, there's always a little band going, lots of good support, and it's always good to play in front of a crowd and, and good atmosphere. <laughs>